And number seven, they want you to solve the following proportion. They want you to solve x over x minus 4 equals 5 sevenths. So what I'm going to do is cross multiply. 7 times x, I get 7 times x. 5 times x minus 4, I get 5 times x minus 4. 7 times x is 7x. Now in this case, I have to distribute. 5 times x is 5x minus 5 times 4 is 20. Solving the equation, I subtract the 5x. I get 2x equals negative 20. Divide by 2. My answer is x equals negative 10. For corrections, I'd like you to redo the following question. And number eight, we're talking about Rick and Max driving their, their cars, a uh, certain mileage. So what I'm going to do to find their, their miles per gallon as a rate is I'm going to divide miles by gallons. Miles divided by gallons. 403 divided by 13, I get 31. For Max, he had 450 miles for 15 gallons, so 450 divided by 15 is 30. Rick is actually having a better gas mileage because he is going one mile further on one gallon of gas. For redo, try this question. Number nine says the ratio of boys to girls is four to three. There are 175 students in the school. How many of them are boys and how many are girls? Well, we know that the number of boys to girls is in the ratio of four to three. Boys to girls is four to three. Okay, there are 175 total. Well, so with ratios, we're multiplying both these numbers by a constant factor. We need to figure out what that is, so we're going to say we're multiplying it by x. We don't know what it is yet. So we're going to add both those quantities. Boys plus girls is going to equal 175. I get 7x equals 175. Divide both sides by 7. One seventy five divided by seven is twenty five so now if boys if boys was four x and that means that I have to do four times twenty five if girls was three x that means I have to do three times twenty five Why did I choose twenty five because that was the number that I found four times twenty five is a hundred. And 3 times 25 is 75. There are 100 boys and 75 girls. Redo the following question. In number 10, Peter bought a certain amount of candy, whereas Rochelle bought a similar amount. They want to know which one is the better buy. So to find the better buy, I'm going to divide cost by pounds. Peter, I'm dividing his cost by the number of pounds. Rochelle, dividing the cost by the number of pounds. If I do 12.91 divided by 3.5 on my calculator, I get the following number. For Rochelle, I get 3.5725. Now, with money, we went around to the nearest cent. So she paid 3.69 per pound. 3.69. 57 per pound. Who had the better buy? Well, Rochelle had the better buy because she is paying 12 cents less per pound. For corrections, for number 11, you want to know which of these choices is a solution. Well, if I distribute, I get negative 2x, and because this is a negative 2 and this is a minus 5, I say plus 5. Okay, subtract 5, I get my apologies in that one I forgot to distribute. Let's try again. Negative 2x plus 10. Subtract 10, subtract 10, I get negative 2x is less than negative 6. Divide by negative 2, negative 2. Now, don't forget, when you're dividing by a negative number and an inequality, you have to flip this sign around. Positive 3. All x values greater than 3 are solution, and the only one that's greater than 3 is choice C. Redo the following question. In number 12, a car goes 
uh, 20 miles for one gallon of gas, it costs 333. How much money does it cost for 150? Well, I'm going to set up a proportion. Three dollars and 33 cents gives me one gallon that goes 20 miles. So it's 333 for 20 miles. How much money is it going to cost for 150? So what I'm going to do is cross multiply. I get 20x, and then 333 times 150 is going to be 499.5. If I divide both sides by 20, you get x equals 2497, excuse me, 0.975. This is the amount of money. Again, rounding to the nearest cent, I look at this number, 7. The next number is 5 or higher, so I call it 2498. Redo the following question. The formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is the following. They want you to solve for W. So I have to distribute, and I get 2L plus 2w. I subtract the 2l, I get p minus 2l equals 2w. Divide both sides by 2, I get p minus, p minus 2l over 2 equals w. For the second part, they just wanted you to plug in the information and you got a width of 9. For this question, redo 